Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a review of the Moleskine 2022 Weekly Notebook Diary Slash Planner. The Moleskine 2022 Weekly Notebook Diary Slash Planner. This is my third planner <laughs> for 2022. Remember when I was like, I only have one planner for the year that stated, um, those rules aren't real. So here we are. I'm going to do a quick review on this. I kept the outside of this because it has a cute little, I haven't put it together yet, but a very cute little desk calendar. And up here at the top, you put a hole and you can put your pen in it. Does it show it? Yeah, it does right here. Is that not adorable? I know. And then of course it tells you that there are uh, free contents and tools that you can download. I've already got a smudge on here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to zoom in as close as I can just because it is fairly dark in here and I want you to be able to see this well and I have my ring light on and that might make things a little blurred. So I'm hoping that Zooming in will allow it to be a little more crisp. <laughs> so this is a soft cover. And again, this is the weekly planner. Look how skinny mini this is. I love that. So this is an, um, what would I say? It's not a dupe. It's an alternative to the Hobonichi Weeks. Of course, it doesn't have as many daily pages in the back as the Hobonichi Weeks, but it has the same somewhat layout and I am going to show you a couple hacks in case you are a Sunday start person. I'm a Monday start person. Also, if you're someone who likes to have your weekends separated, this is on the same row, but I'm going to show you a hack for that as well. That's fairly simple, but I think because I understood I could do that, it gave me more confidence to try this planner. So it's a soft cover, A5. For reference, this is the Lord Term 1917, and Moleskine is always more narrow than that. So not a true A5 in width. <laughs> it's like women's pants, these planners. Uh, they say they're a size 9, but are they really? No one knows. Okay, so as always, the Moleskine has an elastic closure. It has a back pocket that's gusseted and some stickers in the back here. This one has three sheets in different colors, as well as an oops, archival sticker and some information on Moleskine. We won't go through that. So this is kind of, I don't know, let me get out of the ring light because it is blinding bright. Uh, it's a reddish pink color. It's not, I don't think it's true red and it's like cream which is why why moleskine i don't understand and then you get some letters here uh in the black and white which is nice or maybe this is also cream and it does doesn't show up as much yeah it is cream and then you have this one which is a uh kind of pretty teal color turquoise i guess it's turquoise these are all different so I can't imagine putting these three colors on a planner uh, spread <laughs> or even a planner page because it's not who I am anymore. Some people probably use these icons in the monthly, which we're about to see, which is, you know, tiny. In the back, we have a debossing of Moleskine. Again, soft, bendy, bendy, which I like. And since it is fairly thin, it can be paired with other planners in a cover, um, which is what I plan to do. It also has one ribbon here or a bookmark. On the inside, we have the standard front cover. Then we have the Moleskine Weekly Notebook 2022. So this is just like a cover page for the whole notebook. It is glued partially up so you don't see the binding. Down here at the bottom, it tells you personalize your diary with download templates from moleskine.com templates. And that's why I went there. I mean, I've heard people tell me in my comments before that you could print out downloads for this. Man, I'm having asthma. I hope I'm heavy breather. Uh, <laughs> and I'd never done it before, but I love that they printed that there. Oops, I'm not even in frame. So that I would remember to do so, which is kind of awesome. Here you have a personal 
and data page. I have no use for this. Again, I just put my email address. So I'm definitely gonna cover this page. We have two um, years at a glance, one for 2022 and then one for future for 2023. I actually really like this anymore as a writer. So over here we have, oh, this is kind of rough. Now I'm grateful I get monthlies because this is a weekly planner but I wish it was one month to a page instead of two months to a spread, but it is what it is. Now it looks like we're getting cheated on Monday and Sunday. They look to be a little bit more narrow. That might be because there's no gray line over here. It just looks like it's going on forever, um, like infinity pools. <laughs> and so I don't, I don't know. I do have a ruler, let me see. So yes. It is smaller and I feel like I'm cheated. You're cheating me, Moleskine, you're cheating me. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. So I do have a quarter and a dime. I couldn't find a nickel anywhere to save my life. So you can see there that a quarter absolutely covers these long, narrow little boxes. And a dime fits perfectly in here. Just like, see if you barely move it over, ah, there. That's just so teeny tiny. So again, these um, are gonna come in handy for people who don't buy their own planner stickers and they're probably gonna be grateful for them because they can do some kind of system <laughs> with these little icon stickers. Um, I just don't use them. They even come, I don't know if it's exactly these ones, but they do come in other Moleskine, just plain notebooks and I just have like a pile over there just collecting dust. The monthly also has some space at the top and bottom so that you can write any monthly goals or decorate um, with washi tape or even stickers. You can make notes just for that month. I'm really bummed about Monday and Sunday. That's so weird. Let me see if I just, okay. So I think this one is just cut really narrow and this one too. Maybe they printed it off to the side too much because these ones look to be the normal size so well and then yeah I don't know they kind of they botched that I don't care whatever um this is a Monday start calendar over on the Mondays you do have what week of the year you're on so this says week uh, 52 then here's the first week of the year uh starting on January 3rd very nice so it starts in January and goes all the way till December of 2022. So you get no months before the new year and no months after for forward planning, which you do tend to get in um, like Japanese planners. Um, let's see, what is this? Yeah, holidays, nope, have no use for this. Some people enjoy that. I can Google it if I really cared, I don't. Uh, time zones, again, not interested, but I think this is a really pretty background where you could put a bunch of sticky notes or some vellum if you wanted to over this. Uh, yeah, I would prefer lines or <laughs> square grid to plan on. So we have measurements. I think that this could come in handy if you were still in school. I could appreciate that you're not supposed to have your phone out and maybe possibly this is something um, that you would need to refer to. So that's kind of nice, but again, I don't, so I will be covering this page. <laughs> International sizes. Well, we already talked about that size nine, my ass. Over here, we have dialing codes on my <laughs> places check. My places check. Am I reading that right? Yeah. Maybe this would be more important to people who are in business and travel the world or that live in Europe. Not so much for me. This is funny, dialing codes, because I think, as a fan of Psych, I think Gus, one of his, like, <laughs> his hobbies is to memorize, um, like, codes and stuff like that, dialing codes, which I think is pretty funny that I remember. Over here, we have a traveling page. Um, I don't travel very often, ever, really, um, especially during COVID, so... I have no use for this. However, I like that this is one, two, three different uh, columns here of lines. So I could re-label these and use this, or again, just cover the page completely, and that works as well. Over here, we have my extraordinary moments this year. I don't really have many, so it might be one big blown up picture 
bam, right there. <laughs> uh, but there is some dark grid, so I could, of course, uh, relabel this or put washi tape up there and do something else. Here, uh, my blank space. Make this space your own. Okay, so that's cool. I like this too. So I might put all my sticky notes here for my getting things done. And uh, if you've ever seen those sticky notes, I would love that all here because it's really kind of pretty, but also I might just cover it. <laughs> oh, look, here's a ruler. Um, I wish they had that when they were printing out these monthlies because there's no way in hell, as I've already shown you, that these Monday and Sunday were supposed to be like that. They just blew them out. Oh, phone ringing. Nobody calls me until I sit down to film. Anyway, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the ruler. Again, I don't think that that is a necessary um, element. However, it's not really intrusive, but if you ever had to measure something, you'd be like, it's about this. So that's kind of funny and cool. I imagine that some people appreciate that. Uh, Moleskine Weekly Notebook. So here again, you have like a cover page dividing um, all of the front stuff from the weekly uh, itself down here. You have a legend and it says that the little sun is public holidays and then uh, new moon, first quarter moon, full moon, and last quarter moon. Interesting. All right, so phases of the moon, which did I mention? Yes, they are on the monthly there and I actually appreciate that. I think a lot of people do, so I do like that. So here we have the first week that you can actually use this. And again, this is, I'm sorry, I'm not even in frame. I'm trying <laughs> to keep this close so that it's focused because my camera's being a jerk. I apologize. This is um, a January start. However, this is one of those weeks that falls in between two months. So they give you the title of both uh, months that this week falls under and the first month uh, the month the week actually starts on is in bold and then in a lighter shade is uh, the second month, which is nice. I like that. Why is there this huge space <laughs> between the monthlies and the Monday? Probably so that you could put some goals here or something. If you like to put washi tape in your uh, decorative person, you could do that there also. I prefer for them to push that all up and give me Sunday or Saturday and Sunday rather uh, their own rows. Oh yeah, down here at the bottom, we have uh, a ton of countries that have January 1st as a holiday because it's the new year. So um, January 1st, <laughs> look at that. I wish that these were a little bit lighter. They're pretty dark. So let me zoom in so that you can see this a little bit better. So yeah, that takes up a nice quarter of your Saturday section here. And I do not like that. So uh, what I do have, did I move it? Oh yeah. I just opened these in my haul. I decided to purchase one of these, which are the correction tapes. I just call them white out, sorry, but they're correction tapes. And they're in a cream color. And I'm just gonna take my correction tape across this. I'm terrible at this. Might as well be stamping, Sylvia. But looky there. That covers it pretty nicey nice and I can just write over that because, I mean, I don't know. If I tried to write over it the other way, I think it would look weird. <laughs> like I try to scribble something out. So I love that. This is the same Hobonichi style layout except for even Hobonichi and that tiny planner give you Saturday and Sunday on their own um, row, which this one does not and it has space too. So I'm just throwing that out there. Moleskine, I love you. Come on, help me out. Up at the top, you have what week of the year it is. So week 52, which I like. And then again, of course, um, you can look on the Monday section of your monthly and it will tell you what week of the year we are on. These ones are not as bad because there's only one, so it's not that serious, but um, I'm thinking that most countries don't celebrate very many days together like that as a holiday. 
So yeah, that only happens like a few times here and there. So if you didn't have correction tape or whiteout, it's probably not that serious, but there's a few days where you might have to write over that. So we have the uh, calendar, um, or the weekly rather, on the left, and then your memo, which is in lined pages on the right. Now, it's been a while since I've had a plan on lined pages, and I'm not scared of lined pages, but I think that this is, I wanna say five millimeters. I'm pretty sure, and I think there were 35 lines in here. I will flash it on the screen because I wrote that somewhere and I did not bring that note with me. <laughs> so I, I mean, I really like this. I might use this as my writing uh, planner, so I might just write notes here anyway. Uh, that's why I'm grateful that I do have stencils because it's really hard for me <laughs> to make lines. Like I'm not gonna get it together to make lines um, vertically on here so that I can have little square boxes. So we'll see how that goes. But this is nice, I'm not hating it. I wanted to show you a hack. So if you are a Sunday start person, remember this is a Monday start calendar, you can write Sunday right underneath the monthly and start your Sunday up here. And then of course, since I have the correction tape, you can go ahead and, I mean, I'm just gonna say white it out uh, down here at the bottom, even though it's in green, and that's awesome. So I got these from Amazon, just regular Amazon. Yes, I did order stuff from Amazon Japan, so I had to think about it for a moment. I'll try to remember to leave a link down below. They came in a pack of three. I think that that is awesome. And then what else did I wanna say about this? Oh yes, when you wipe this out, you can go ahead and move Sunday over here so that it can have its own row. Now you still have all of this section up here for you to do any kind of planning. And I think over here on this side, I would do probably a weekly review. Also maybe, um, a little also maybe a little habit tracker and any kind of like regular notes like a to-do list um, for this week so I think this is going to work out for me they do have another layout weekly which I will show you because I did print that out um, they have it available as a download and that one I couldn't figure out how to hack <laughs> so I figured this was the best way um, or this was the best planner rather to use a couple hacks like a Sunday start and moving Sunday over here and having uh, the weekend broken into two sections like it should be. So that's kind of nice. So to recap, this starts December 27th. So a few days before the new year and goes until Uh, January 1st of 2023. So you get literally the whole year in a few days <laughs> um, besides that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven lined pages in the back, which isn't much. And the Hobonichi definitely has you beat on that because you get like 71, 72 in the back of that one. And if you cover all of those uh, pages that have, like, I don't even know what they are. Some of them are little guides. Uh, you get an extra like 12 or 13 pages. And again, I mentioned this has a nice back pocket that has a gusset on it, which I do appreciate. So when it comes to the printables, let's talk about those quickly. I wanted to remember uh, to write a little sticky note saying that this is on my Moleskine. And so if you put in my Moleskine or my Moleskine templates, uh, the website will pop up. Also, you have to log in. So if you don't have a login name, you sign up. Once you verify your email, it will give you access to the templates. And they have two, one that's just called templates and one that's called passion templates. And so they have these in pocket large and extra large. And I didn't even look at the extra large, but I know that there are some they have in pocket, they don't have in large and vice versa, I think. If I get interrupted one more time, I'm just gonna continue. Anyway, <laughs> empty threats, why even make them? So talking back 
on the uh, my moleskin. That's where I was, I think. On these pages that I'm not going to keep in the front here that I want to cover up, I think I'm just going to use, where are those pages? Like, well, I like that one, like this one. You can use these free templates, so they have one for grid. This printed out at, I think, 91%. Um, no, excuse me, I printed this one at 100% because the first ones I printed out, these ones printed at 91%, and I thought, wait, once they printed, I was like, these are way too small. So I tried 100, doesn't fit in here, and I think these printed at 91 because they were at like fit, fit to page or whatever the hell they call it. I guess 110, 115% <laughs> would, you know, fit from top to bottom. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then I don't know if that changes the grid size in here. So just be aware of that. And I will try to flash that on the screen because people are already making noise after I told them I've got like five more minutes left. Anyway, so they had a bunch of different layouts. Here is the other, uh, no, just kidding. This is the weekly layout I wish they did have in the planner where Sunday has its own row. What's up with that moleskin? It's not like you don't have a printable for that. So interesting. Also, there is no dates um, in here, so you can put whatever date you need, which is very cool. This one is the other weekly layout you can actually buy. And I couldn't figure out how to hack this because Saturday and Sunday share a section again, and there's no extra space to fix that. So that's why I went with, um, this guy instead. Oh, I can hear people talking. I hope you can't, but if you can, bear with me, right? Everyone has kids and family. I mean, I have family, not kids, but my niece is here. So we have the dot grid here, which is really cool because you can also cover pages with that as well. Again, I don't know if the dot grid is gonna change from like five millimeter to whatever if you blow it up, but I just really need the lines in order to write on them. Um, at some point, I might just get a template like this and white it out just to have the outline and type up things to print out and paste in. So we'll see how that goes. I wrote a note. What did I write? Oh yeah. So letting you know that if you decide to go with just a Moleskine notebook, um, they come in blank dot, line, and square, you can go ahead and print out the monthlies and paste them into those notebooks, which is awesome. Um, they didn't have 2022 up yet. So I printed um, December of 2021 since today is December 1st, which is a Wednesday. And then uh, it comes to, to a page. So I went ahead and printed November to show you that, but this is really snazzy. I don't like drawing these types of things out. And if I can use this as like more project planning where I don't want to write in the boxes, just put a line and say that <laughs> um, this week is when I want to be able to write chapter, you know, four through seven or something like that, uh, do project planning that way, this calendar will work for me. And then of course they have the square grid, which I blew up to 100%. <laughs> you can see there, because this was 91%, I believe. Um, so I didn't print on the back of these. I can go ahead and reprint these on the back and still utilize this paper and not waste it. And it's not that serious, but I thought I would share these with you. I don't have one. I thought I printed out one of the passion templates. So they have like these um, passion templates, which are meant for the uh, more, I guess, hobbyist kind of uh, planners or journals rather. So they have one that's like music sheets and they have one for like wine and film. So if you didn't want a whole uh, notebook or, or journal that you can actually buy on their website or on Amazon, they have some of them there. You could just go ahead and print out a few pages. So if you just wanted to have a couple of pages in a blank notebook or even back here for your pet or just like for a movie in general that you wanted to watch and make some notes on, the passion templates are really good for that. The last thing I wanna show you quickly 
is a pen test and since I'm not sure what I want to do those pages and there's a limited amount I didn't want to waste any <laughs> pages on a pen test so I'm testing on this moleskin paper since it's the same um, this is the denim cover by the way it's so adorable I keep it in my purse for notes on the go okay so over here we have Stabilo and we also have the uh, Fine Stadler and the Arteza. So these are the felt tip pens that a lot of people, like anytime they get a planner, they're like, I'm gonna color code and I'm gonna buy a pack of pens, right? Those tend to be like the three major uh, packs of pens I see people buy when they want to start a new planner. And I just wanted to show you in here that it's really bad <laughs> on moleskin paper. I think this is 70 GSM. You can see there. The Arteza did a little bit better. Here, I kind of, you know, scribbled over a couple of times. So if you just did lines like I did here with the fine liner, you might be okay with the Arteza, but they all basically had a little bit of bleed through and of course, a lot of ghosting with this paper. Um, here is the Zig Clear Color Real Brush and the Tombow. I am gonna try to pull this up and zoom in. They have a weird reaction to paper, kind of like when you wet, what is it called? Uh, loose leaf regular notebook paper. <laughs> it kind of makes this weird, I don't know, pattern on the page. I'm sure there's a word for it that I am lacking in. Then I have the play color dot and the clean color dot. I was gonna say clear color dot. Uh, these are cool little dots that you can stamp that people tend to buy to put in planners, but these stamps, um, you can't really, it's really hard <laughs> to release the ink evenly. Sometimes you don't have a choice and a lot comes out and so those don't work well at all in this paper. Although the fine, uh, tip side with the pen work really nicely. Um, this one bled through a little bit, but of course the Zig Clear Color Dot, not at all, that was very nice. So that's half a bummer and half not. <laughs> Here is the Sarasa Dry. I love this pen. This is the Air Fit Grip and it's a very opaque pen, which is why I love it so much. Um, that goes kind of you know, like crazy here. A little bit here and there, probably because I press too hard sometimes, um, but not too much bleed through. So highlighter wise, I found my Uni Apropos, and this is of course in gray. So it had a little bit of bleed through here and there, not too bad. And because it's gray, it's, it's not as noticeable. Ballpoint pen and pencil work perfect on this paper especially when it comes to the ghosting. It's a lot less than anything else. Of course, pencil, not at all. And of course, there was no bleed through with either. When it comes to a friction, <laughs> I think that that would be your best bet other than ballpoint, um, just because friction has a lot of different colors and options and sizes of millimeter for pens. So I highly recommend the friction in here. This is not a friction stamp. You can see just like a regular stamp went through it, bled like crazy, also ghosted like crazy. I put a little note in here that says write on stamp or sticky note. So you can certainly use your favorite pens that might bleed through on this paper on a sticky note, or you can stamp on a sticky note and then put it anywhere within your planner and that will keep it from bleeding through um, the page. These are friction. Let me pull those out over here. Like I mentioned, friction is my go-to, I think, for this planner. So I have these friction stamps and I didn't love them because I wasn't using them <laughs> correctly. If you press really hard on these, they get kind of fuzzy wuzzy like um, chalk based ink. That's why I don't like chalk based ink, but dye based ink bleeds through pretty much everything. Um, see how fuzzy they are right there, but if you lightly press on them, they come out lovely. Same with this one. I might have to zoom in because my camera is not wanting to focus again, possibly. 
So you can see the difference there. So you can use something like this, especially for those um, monthly calendars that are a little bit more narrow than you're probably used to. You can go ahead and use these instead of those little icon stickers because they're just not who I am as a planner person. <laughs> and you can use um, a system like this could mean like you have a paper due, that's like an emergency deadline, something like that. So other friction items I have um, just around the office and it's kind of between black and pencil, which is really nice, a really nice gray. Now the struggle with the friction, and I've had this issue a little bit in the Hobonichi with the Tomoe River paper. I did a friction test right there and right there of erasing it. It kind of warps the page where you erase. I don't erase very often, but I like having the option and that's why I like friction. I also like it because on this paper, it doesn't ghost very much and there's no bleed through. So it races fine, but you can kind of see on the page, it's gonna make it a little hard, see how it's already like the page is bowing <laughs> for me pushing to erase because that's how you do it with friction. And you can get these in multiple colors. So I highly recommend this if you don't go with a ballpoint pen. I also like the friction colors. So friction, colors this is probably like I don't know I'd say a 0.7 millimeter or even thicker maybe a one millimeter it's really thick so I don't care to write with this in a planner uh, yeah but they come in a ton of colors and I have all of them <laughs> uh, you can get these pens like I mentioned uh, with a bunch of different ink colors and then of course you have your friction highlighters and friction on friction works great um, that's a great combination you can write with the tip of this and they erase and the erasers on the bottom where this one's on the top. And then of course, when it comes to the stamps, the eraser is on the bottom here. Like that. Okay, so I am all ready to go and try this out as my planner for 2022. And this is just like one, of course, of three. So I think I might go with a writing planner in this guy. And I'm going to put it right next to my monitor every time I sit down. I can go ahead and plan out my week for what I want to work on in my writing. And then write a note every day what I worked on, what chapter, what I finished, what I didn't. And then make other notes um, over here for how the week went and plan on a sticky note for the next week for some forward planning, which is awesome. Do recommend any of the friction to go with this. If you're looking for a pen that's not going to ghost, you can erase. It also comes in so many different styles and colors, and also the stamps work pretty well in here. I will also leave a link down below to my Moleskine, and I don't know. I, maybe I'll try to use these. I highly doubt I will, but I'm going to say it because it seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> All right, so let me know what you think about the Moleskine uh, planners. Have you ever used them before? What's up with these monthlies? I mean, even these are perfect. And mine was just like really skinny mini on, on the ends. It is what it is. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.